Okay, so I'm going to go through um, the Born Harbour cycle for magnesium chloride. So let's just start by drawing the uh, starting materials and the products. So this is what we're going to be making. So the starting materials, um, oh, sorry, product, we're making magnesium chloride and that's a solid Oops, magnesium chloride CL2 and we're going to be making that from magnesium element which is magnesium is a solid and chlorine which is a gas when I do these born harbour cycles I like to just treat one part of it at a time so personal preference I always go for the metal and I always put the arrow above the metal uh, to show the transformation I'm making. I'm going to make uh, magnesium solid uh, into a met uh, magnesium gas, so I'm going to atomize it. So I'm going to give it energy to atomize, so it becomes magnesium gas. Then I'm going to take an electron off the magnesium, so first ionization energy, I'm going to take one electron off, and there's the electron. I'm then going to take the second electron off. So there's magnesium with its second electron, so second ionization energy, and there's the second electron. Now, I didn't do anything with the chlorine, but I do need the chlorine on that line. That's convention, and that's uh, what you'll be marked on. So if you don't put the chlorines, even though they haven't taken uh, part in any transformation you will lose marks and so we'll put the chlorines in now I've done all the transformations on the metals the metal okay so the final thing that I need to do uh, before anything else is to start the transformations now on the chlorine so the chlorine I am going to split the molecule apart I'm going to break the bonds between the two chlorine uh, atoms, the, the, uh, the covalent bond, and I'm going to make two chlorine, chlorine atoms. Okay, so I'm atomizing that. And I'll just put in the magnesium and the two electrons. Okay, so the next part of this is the chlorine is going to pick up those electrons. It's going to become a chloride ion, and that's an exothermic process. So exothermic process and the chlorine, the two chloride, chlorine atoms pick up the electrons and become chloride ions and there's the magnesium 2 plus as a gas. Okay and the final thing is that these two ionic, yeah, uh, these two ions will come to, no, three ions in fact, will come together and will make one mole of our ionic solid. Okay, and we know that that's our enthalpy of formation. All right, so what do we have here? This is uh, atomization of magnesium. This is the first ionization of magnesium. This is the second ionization of magnesium, uh, ionization energy of magnesium. Then there's nothing happened to the chlorine gas. The chlorine gas here, we split the bond between the two atoms and make a chlorine atom. And remember, this is the uh, enthalpy of atomization. So it's uh, we are going to be made, which is the definition is the energy required to make one mole of atoms. And just look, we've made two moles of atoms here. So that's going to figure in our equation. Uh, we then have electron affinity here of chlorine. Uh, so the electron affinity is the energy required to make one mole of ions with a one minus charge and here you can see we've made two moles of ions so that will figure in our equation and then here we've got our lattice enthalpy of formation so if we use the values that um, we are provided with then we've got the enthalpy of formation for magnesium chloride as minus six four two. Atomization of magnesium is plus one five zero. 
the first ionization energy of magnesium is plus seven three six the enthalpy of atomization for chlorine is plus one two one so that's this one here plus one two one but remember we've got two moles of iron so that would be two times one two one the electron first electron affinity for chlorine is minus three six four but again we've got two moles so we're going to have to multiply that by two then the lattice enthalpy for magnesium chloride is minus two four nine two the only one we do not have is this one here and that's what we're going to have to find out okay so let's uh, look at working this out so what we're going to do we will uh, uh, go around in a cycle we know that if we start here by Hess's law the uh, enthalpy of formation regardless of the route taken is going to be the same so we're going to start here and this is minus six four two is equal to and we're going to go around the cycle this way and we'll still get to the same uh, end product so I'm going to follow my arrows so if I'm following the arrows then I will be um, going in the right direction so minus 642 equals plus 150 plus 736 plus x this pen's not great plus x that's 736 plus 2 times 121 one. so that would be 242 two. plus two lots of minus three six four so that would be plus minus seven two eight okay minus two four nine two minus two Four, nine, two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So we've got minus 642 equals, I'll simplify that number, and we've got plus x. Okay, so I've simplified that equation, minus 642 equals, and then the whole of these numbers is minus 2092 plus x. All I need to do now is just rearrange, so I'm going to take... Uh, this to the other side so minus six four two plus two oh nine two equals x and using the calculator i can get uh six four two plus two oh nine two equals so that would equal positive one four five zero equals x now we can do a little bit of a check and balance this is an upward arrow it has to be positive we've got a positive number so i haven't done uh, any incorrect rearranging okay so the uh, value for the second ionization energy for magnesium chloride uh, sorry for magnesium is plus 1450 and the units kilojoules mole to the minus one.